Hello everybody, this is Sharp and um, welcome to my channel all about shaving. So I've been looking at lots of subscription razors over the last couple of years, trying to find the best one. I've uh, reviewed a lot of Gillette recently, which um, yeah, I found actually some of them are not too bad, which is good. And I've got a really good one for you today. So thanks very much to Anita at Seajoy who sent me an electric razor. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I've never used an electric razor before in my life, like never, and I've been shaving for, I don't know, decades. So yeah, she sent me this um, and said, see what you think. So let me just talk you through it. So to start with, I mean, I don't know much about them, but it's got uh, a dual ultra thin razor net, which I guess is that bit on the top. It's got 3D floating razor heads, long battery, pop-up trimmer, let me show you what I've sort of discovered. So these, I've been shaving with it for the last week. These move around a little bit. You can see there that there's a little bit of wiggle in uh, in where these, in how these things move. You can rotate them around. I guess they're just like little uh, lawnmowers, really. They're tiny little lawnmowers uh, with a little net. And so your beard goes into the lawnmowers and away it goes. On the back here is a cheeky little trimmer, which is uh, good for trimming the sideburns. And it comes with charger and a little cleaning brush and stuff. So the question is, how does it shave? Let's give it a go. So what I would say is that I was pleasantly surprised. Now, it's really strange, like no water, no shaving cream. You know, I've never done this before. And it's just a bit sort of, uh, it doesn't feel like I'm used to washing my face at the same time and getting nice and close with a, with a blade. This is a bit of a, mm, you just kind of have to rummage around and uh, it does its work. You can go right over your lips, it's not going to hurt anything, you know, down the net, no problems. What I find is you have to really kind of go in all directions, up against the grain, like that. You can hear it chiseling away, and up here, up against the grain on the cheeks. And it eventually does quite a good job. So you have to use it definitely every day. And look, it's not, it's not as close as a wet shave. It's definitely not. But it's, if you spend some time, and I think, you know, if you uh, haven't got access to, or in, you know, if you're in a rush in the morning, you could easily do this in the car. Um, not sure it'd be that appropriate to do it on the tube, but I guess you could give it a go. And um, yeah, I don't know much about these electric razors, but I've been using this for a week and nothing else. So I've been using it in the morning as my regular shave. And if you do what I'm doing now, which is give it a good going over all around a few times, then eventually, like you can hear, it's stopping to find any hair now. And that's quite, that's quite decent. Like I would go out with that. I would be happy to um, go out for an evening. I'd be happy to go to work. It's not. It's not as close. It's not as close. Um, but it's probably closer than a few of the five blade cartridges that I've whinged about. So, thank you very much, Cjoy, for sending me that. I said I'd review it for you, and I have my first electric razor. You can be proud that I was your very first, and that I quite liked it. Thank you very much. Cheers.